When I grew up as a little girl, I was in a country area, rural area, and we um, made our living by having a farm. I told myself that I did not like being out in the sun and working from sunrise to sunset and all that. So I made good grades in all of my subjects. So it's time to go to college. Well, since you're doing well in all subjects, you can major in math, and we know that you'll be successful. So when I went to college, I majored in math. Graduated after four years. I had applied for jobs in the government. I got hired in Darwin in 1956. I came by myself. My husband wasn't with me or anything. I was by myself. I at least put it this way. I didn't know him <laughs> at that time. At the same time that we were coming to work here, they were also bringing in a large computer and they hired these mathematicians to learn to work this computer. We hadn't had any computer teaching or knowledge, so we had to master this job that they wanted us to do. So we had to learn how to program and code for this big computer. My part in the global positioning system would be working more with the orbit over the water. A lot goes into the scientific computation to generate an orbit, which is a database used in GPS. So the different people who did uh, civilian applications learned to use the database that we generated, and that was the foundation that GPS was built on. When you grew up as a black girl, our school was separated from the white schools and we had separate buses. And many times we would get the old hand-me-down things from the white school, books that weren't new like their, their books were. But all of that helped to make us, I think, work harder because, you know, you were behind the eight ball to start with, you know, so you had to work harder. But I always was motivated by doing something new and completing something having a goal. Because usually I had a mind of my own. I tend to think for myself, a little impatient with others who don't think the way I do. <laughs> Happy birthday, Navy! 243 years. <laughs> <laughs>